you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate changing an IoT controller from a dynamic IP address to a static IP address. So I've logged into my dynamic IP address of 192.168.8.146. Now I would click on the admin tab and I would go to VM configuration. The host name is going to stay the same and I'm going to click on static. I'm going to enter in an IP address that I want to use for my static. So I'm going to put in 192.168.8.80. I'll put in a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. My gateway is 192.168.8.1. The DNS server, I'm going to put in 8.8.8.8 as my primary. And 192.168.8.1 as my secondary. The time is automatically using NTP. And it puts in an NTP address. I could set that, so I'm going to now click on Update. Changes to this page will require a reboot, so I'm going to confirm, and I'll click on that, and that's going to take a while to do that. So now I'm going to go to my VM for the IoT controller and access the CLI. I'm going to have to wait about two or three minutes for this to boot up before I get a live interaction here. Okay, I just tapped on it again, and it seemed to work here, so I'm going to log in, and I'll put in my password. I'll click on one for Ethernet. And as you can see, we've now selected the 192.168.8.80. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my browser and I'm going to log into this. We'll see if that works. Great. It says it's not secure. I'm going to advance to it, proceed to it. And I'm going to type in admin and I'm going to type in my password. And there we go. We are now logged in and we now have a static IP address. So now if I go back to my admin and I go back to my VM configuration, you'll see that it is a static IP address and it has taken effect. So that's how we change our IoT controller from a DHCP to a static IP address. Mm -hmm.